Hello everybody and welcome back to the new safe hour. We are jumping in again. I said I was going to play as the Tarnished Keeper, so I'm going to do exactly that. But I think something that we really need to get on with fairly soon is getting the Lost unlocked and getting Holy Mantle unlocked. We're still a little ways off that. It means we have to do some vanilla character greed mode as well. Um, but I think we should try and get it done. I know that the Lost unlock is a little bit RNG based, especially in modded. It's pretty tricky. Uh, for anyone that does know, is there a specific thing that you have to do to unlock the missing page? Um, I can't remember if the missing page is just already unlocked or if there's something specific you have to do to unlock it. No, 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 no. Oh, I got it. Good. Uh, I, I can't really remember, I'll be honest. Um, and it'd be, be good to know. It would be good to know. Okay, so, turn down. As we remember, uh, it's best used in treasure rooms. If we need consumables, it's best used in regular rooms. We can use them in secret rooms, but it's a little bit risky. Um, okay, this is good. I forgot that this guy, um, he, uh, he's technically a mini boss, so he, the, the coins that he drops last a lot longer. So we can actually spend quite a bit of time on this room, making sure we get all the money plausible. Um, let's not, not get caught up in all of that business. Yeah, so we want to spend a bit of extra time here, making sure we can get as much as possible. Oh, that guy didn't drop me any money. Maybe there's a limit. Yeah, it seems like there's a limit. Where I think now it's like a 50% chance for them to drop coins rather than guaranteed. But that's fine. We can deal with it. We can deal. We still got a lot of money out of this. And we did indeed, indeed get Shoop the Whoop too, which is at least a lot of money for us. Very, very nice. Uh, we can go back to our item room now and get some good stuff going on. Now, I don't remember if it's worth upgrading your shops in here. So, Nancy Bombs is obviously just going to be a lot of money. I didn't really want to buy the key, but I guess I'm buying the key now. Um, this is fine. I will take it. Um, and then, I guess I'll pop that again. And this is a really bad room for us, honestly. Um, let me just try bombing this guy. Ow. Okay, well, that didn't matter. Damn it. Bad for room to be using that in. Don't like small rooms. The thin rooms kind of screw you over there. That's not very good. Anyways, let's just continue on. Uh, yeah, we got a revive now, which is real good for us. Don't get hit. We lose so much money when we get hit. Ain't worth it to get the coins. But yeah, we at least got a key now for next floor, I suppose. That is good. Uh, checking out shops here um, isn't really that worthwhile, to be honest. Doing some dono could be pretty good. Some donation stuff. I, what I really need is, what I really want is a speed upgrade. Because uh, this guy starts out with some really atrocious speed. Um, and it makes things a lot, lot harder than it has to be. Let's just try and save some money for the next floor here. The beaters, very, very annoying. These guys, kind of annoying, but luckily he did his annoying attack in a way that made it less annoying. So there you go. Um, and on the on the topic of annoyance, uh, what's something that recently has really annoyed you about, like, so, something that you've seen on the internet that's really annoyed you recently? It might be some bullshit misinformation being spread or some news about a game or some news about a person or something on the internet that's really rubbed you the wrong way as of late it'd be interesting to hear uh, i would like a bomb to get in there but unfortunately the only way i'm getting one of those at this point is if i buy one and i don't want to do that let's not get hit by this guy because we just lose a lot of money i think i can kill the head before it spawns which is always good Ragman's made really, really simple in terms of a boss if you can kill the head before it summons a spider. Otherwise, he's a kind of nightmare. Oh, no. no, 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 no. Golden penny. Thank you. We got the golden penny. Oh, look, penny as well. God damn it. God damn it. Uh, turn down here is pretty good. Yeah, I'll definitely take Barra Soap here. Very happy with that. Um, and we will just keep heading on. What did we do last time in terms of unlocks? Um, we did Dark Path, I believe. So we can do Light Path this time. We also did Mega Satan too, because we unlocked Golden Items for that, which I'm very, very happy about. That was a bad few, uh, bad few kills there. Killed them in, like, the worst pos positions possible. 
good amount of money there. Okay, we're doing good. Hopefully we can find that item room fairly quick here. Yeah, Bar of Soap was definitely a good grab. I'm glad that I uh, risked it on a boss item there. Did you fart that coin towards me? Good sir. Very happy with you right now. That was so kind. Don't like the amount of spiders in this room at the minute, especially when I'm having a real hard time grabbing the coins off of them. Bloody go away, you stupid spider dicks. Good, good. I'll save my key for my actual item room. But yeah, we can do some good stuff here. We've got a lot of money right now. These guys were probably not going to be able to get anything from, apart from if you bounce a nickel over my way. Baby, that is exactly what I want to see. Okay, these guys are kind of a lost cause as well. Sometimes you just gotta you just gotta accept that you're gonna lose some money. I mean, this time we again got kind of lucky there. I have a nightmare of these goddamn enemies that slow you down all the time now, because the webbing just ugh. Not a big fan of you, my good sir. Not a big fan of you. Still, money's looking strong. We've even got some leeway for if we get hit, which is really, really nice. I'd, I'd much rather not get hit, I'll be honest, but we've got the leeway if we do. Okay, there's a ghosty boy in here. Really, all of these are going to turn into headlesses? Are you kidding me? That makes this room so much more inconvenient to, to navigate. Bit annoying there. I keep forgetting that all of our consumables are just going to turn into extra money. Come on, item room, where the fuck are you? Just getting a, a bit redonkulous. A little bit redonkulous. God damn it, I managed to go the wrong way. Luckily, we've managed to work our way up to an impressive level of money. I think we want to just go do the boss here with this much money, because we can do devil deals. This boss shouldn't be too bad. I've just got to make sure to keep the nubbins in check. Good, good. All of that. A dime. Okay, let's pop in here. Eye of the Occult, fantastic. Golden Athem. I don't know if having two of them does anything for us, but I'm gonna I'm gonna be happy about it regardless. Um I'll leave that stuff there for now. Yeah, Athem. Very good. With minus two luck, not as good, but golden Athem, it might boost the chances because we have two of them. Also, Eye of the Occult's really good because it tightens our spread and our shots, meaning we can hit them all a little easier. Good bit of money back there. Okay. I'm really, really happy with how this has gone so far. I think we have a very, very good setup. Item room is finally here. Let us have a little look see. Chasm. Marked? I'm gonna go for marked. Why not? And... Um, tears remain airborne significantly longer. Decelerate tears, increase tier size. Let's go with that. That sounds fun. Oh yeah, with marked, that's really good. And I have the occult. It's like I can move them around. Okay. I like this. This is cool. This is an interesting build that we've crafted for ourselves here. Marked just for that massive bonus to fire rate. And I don't know if March plus I the Occult is, like, normally just really good or if it's because the tears are hanging around the air, but I like the idea of it. I think it's a cool combo. So I'm going to go for it regardless. And yeah, hopefully we get some Ethereum procs here. Uh, I will buy an additional key here, and we'll just head on down. 
So far, so good. We just got to make sure we don't get hit too much and have a little bit of extra HP to support us. Um, let's pop in here. Don't know if uh, higher quality items are worth more, but I will give that a go anyways. We'll just check that out. Uh, not the best item there for us. Now, we are going to miss out on some money just because of the distance. There's that fame proc. Because of the distance of stuff going on, but we're not going to worry about that too much right now. You really had to do that, didn't you? Okay, these guys are kind of annoying. This is such a fun build. This is like um, Ludovico Technique Plus. <laughs> this is such an interesting build. Yeah, we're going to miss out on quite a lot of money, to be honest, because we're going to be hitting things at long range, but then also a theme is going to be killing stuff like for us outside of like our immediate range. So we're going to miss out on that money too. That's just a, a good old dime for dime's sake, to be honest. Uh, no point going for that room right now. Should we go back to our item room and expand the shop a little and see what we get? I think we should. I think it costs 10 again to upgrade it. The active item honestly isn't that bad either. I could take it. See, my reflection... This is a this is a tricky one, because I'm curious to see if it will ruin the build or not. I have to try it to see if it does. Okay, it doesn't. It's great. It just means they have even more range. I need spectral and piercing now, and then this is, this is something truly magical if we can get that. Can I pop this again? Okay, it's 15 for the next one, so I don't want to pop it yet. Okay, the, the luck upgrades here are actually fantastic because of a the theme. We're down to minus one luck now. The more luck upgrades we can get, the better. Yeah, the Atheum is so fucking good because it, it just does so much damage, but it just means we're going to lose out on a lot of money. Just because it can chain react off of itself so easily. Damn it. Very, very bad hit there. Not awful. We didn't lose too much money, but definitely losing any amount of money is not good, so... It's not ideal. Dude... Oh, shit me. There's a spider there. I was like, what the hell hit me? There's a fucking spider that I turned to gold. And it was very, very hard to see. So I just lost a lot of money there. I, I do I do realize that that's going to just be the case with this setup. We are just going to potentially lose a lot of money slash health doing this. Look at this. These tears are my reflectioning. Like, if I fire a bunch of tears and then let go, they just hang around in the air and follow me for a really long time. <laughs> we didn't do boss rush last time, did we? Boss rush is kind of risky because it's, like, if you get hit and lose a bunch of money, it's going to be really, really rough. Do not, do not, do not like this. Yeah, that is... That was terrible. Thank God we had this going on. Okay. I I really, really, really don't like this. This is like the worst room layout I think I've ever seen. <laughs> like, what the fuck is this? Dude, fuck off. This is horrible. I mean, we got goat head out of it, so I suppose... I was going to say we got goat head out of it. We got money out of it. That was th one of the worst room layouts I've ever seen. Why is there so many spikes and rocks? I had, like, nowhere to actually move. That was horrendous. That was actually horrific. <laughs> Thank God I had that uh, extra life. Otherwise, we'd have been done so, and this cool room would have been over so, so quickly, and that would have depressed me down to my very core. Um, Let's go with that. Let's buy one of them. Actually, let's just buy two. Let's just let's just get ahead of the curve with keys. 
I realize I could do some secret room shenanigans, but it's fine. Yeah, very, very annoyed at the, uh, the weirdness of this room layout. Very, very hard to get out of the way, and then having to fight an angel on top of that definitely made things a little harder. That's just free money, that. That's just free money. Beautiful. We need some speed up now. Speed up would be fantastic. What are you two doing exactly? Hey, extra damage, damn it. <laughs> it just turns into money, I keep forgetting. There's one of those good old butt bombs. Butt bombs and a theme all, all going off. Another luck penny there. We need as many of those as we can possibly get. This is just one of the most fun, interesting builds I've had in a long while. The butt bombs are rather nice here. The only, like I said, the only thing is we're just unfortunately going to miss out on a lot of money. Because it's going to be hard to get in there and grab it all. We should still be able to get enough to buy stuff, but... I wasn't quite sure what you guys would do, but I found out, I guess. Yeah, this is why we need speed so we can get the money a bit easier. Don't like how quickly all these guys are encroaching on me. Thank you, Athame, for uh, solving my problem quickly and swiftly. Beautiful. There's a golden penny. There was a nickel in there too, but we'll stick with a golden penny for now. Again, we'll go for the boss. I was hoping we'd be able to keep that goat head that we got, but sadly not. That would have been pretty epic. How much fire rate do we get from this? Oh shit, we get a lot of fire rate when we're in that poop slick. That's very, very good. Okay, we've made, we're going to make our way up to near to 99 here. 95 is good enough for me. Do our boss. A little bit more damage would go a long way as well right now. There you go. Nice, nice. We did get a devil deal. Good, good. Why am I picking up all this money? Stupid. Unfortunately, nothing good here, but we can at least uh, spawn some stuff. Right. That's good. I'll take that. And that is good. I'll take that. Head back out here. Oh, all that money disappears. Damn it. I didn't think that would be the case. Right. Two very good devil items here. More damage that I just asked for. And, of course, our, our bat friend... Oh, also our tears look cooler now, which I like. <laughs> it's always a bonus when you've got some style points going on. We, what we need now is some defensive items. Now that is why you want luck upgrades. Missed out on the dime, though. Whoa, look at that. Look at all the tears stacked on top of each other there. Do you see that? That was crazy. That looked pretty wacky. Probably going to miss boss rush here. We're going pretty slow, but it's fine. Oh, that's so depressing. <laughs> I mean, we got a lot of money out of it, so that's good, but that is a bit depressing to see Magic Mush randomly and not actually be able to take it. It's a little bit rude. Holy shit. Unfortunately, yeah, we are just going to miss out on so much money when that happens, but it's so satisfying. Yeah, theme procs are pretty awesome. And 
And where are you, good sir? There you are. Oh, oh, oh. Troll bomb, troll bomb. No thank you. Right, do that. 50% chance to damage enemies. Yeah, that's pretty good. And... Honestly, the pale is pretty good. We'll take the pale. It allows us to open secret rooms easily. And we can get mega poops sometimes. And more money. That's very nice. I don't know why a golden bomb spawned there, but... Yes, that's what I wanted. Blow that guy up. Turn down. Turn down. Turn down. I will take 99 bombs. That seems pretty useful. Get out of here. Skedaddle, skadoodle. Yeah, 99 bombs seems pretty useful to me. I will take and I'll be happy with it. Let us go to the next floor. I think we're in a really... We have a really good setup now. Yeah, the pale is honestly so good. Extra money, potential of the big poops that we saw, and the ability to open up secret rooms. It's very, very nice. Very, very nice indeed. This run has some sauce going on. Still gotta be careful though. Our health we, is low right now. We need to keep it a little higher than it currently is. Just hoping for more lockup coins at the minute. Even if a theme already is triggering like crazy. Oh, now that's lovely. That's a lot of money to get there. Charge key giving us a ton there too. Don't want that. Oh, this is, yeah, this is just, this has got some really beautiful stuff going on right now. Ooh, I like this. This is an interesting room. Um, stolen placard would be very, very good, actually, but sadly, not today. That's not very good for us. Eternal bombs, with, with all the bombs that we have right now, is pretty darn good for us. And chemical peel, pretty good too. I'll get that once I have the money. Which I'm going to get a little bit more money first. I have some extra HP. Oh, that was a really bad hit by me there. I jumped the gun. I really jumped the gun and tried to pick up that coin. I kind of forgot they did that thing where they threw up all the rocks. But yeah, now we have uh, double eternal bombs as well, which means extra boss damage, which I very much like, of course. Another charge key. Still going to wait for some more money to come in first. We have the pail. Pail is ready to go. Okay, I don't like this guy. And I'm, yeah, I was just about to say, I'm going to end up hitting him, aren't I? Oh god, oh god, oh god. I might die, I might die, I might die. No, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh my god, those enemies. Scared the ever-loving shit out of me there. Oh, this is a room with no combat, isn't it? Sometimes you get these large rooms that have no combat, and it's kind of kind of weird you out. Oh, dude, the butt bombs adopt our bomb effects. Okay, that is nutty good. Get like brimstone bombs with that, a theme bombs with that. My god, right again. Don't let these guys fool you with their heads. Okay, this time they didn't do it. I don't know what happened there. I'm not gonna worry about the missed out money. Definitely to kill the big boys first because they lob some bombs over, and I don't want that. Straight for the boss here.
War, I get that you're scared, but stop camping in the corner, please. Got a golden penny there, lovely. That's good stuff. Tears up, I like. It's a very good tears up as well, actually. We'll see how much this golden penny gives us. Okay, unfortunately, not enough to play again. Yeah, this has been a great run so far. What the hell batteries are those? What the fuck? I haven't seen those before. Do not like this. Some rooms you just walk into and you're immediately scared. That is definitely one of them. This is another one, to be honest. These enemies can be really problematic, especially if there's a lot of them. Okay, luckily there's not too many. Sticky nickel. Technology fellas. Still need that speed up. Maybe just need to be rolling boss, boss room items for a while to try and get them. Look upgrade. Oh yes, baby. The look upgrades are coming hot and fast now. Oh, I love that. With fear, just get the enemy to turn around. Found a secret room there. Lovely. Also made that lovely fart sound. Oh, baby. A theme do be popping off right now. Pop-up shop for mystery egg? I don't think so, game. Three dollar bill. Thank you for killing that guy for me. Unfortunately, I don't actually get three dollar bill here, but it's a lot of money, so... Worth doing the trip. Interesting room design. Right, let's quickly go and check out this secret room. Puzzle piece. Got placebo pill in here. Got a giga bomb in here. Okay, that didn't really work out the way I was hoping it would. Sorry, I just burped pretty loud there. Holy fuck, I want all that money. That was very risky because I could have just been hit by that bomb there, but I had to get in there. Oh, oh I love the fucking noise these guys make when they die. Oh. <laughs> it's so, like, I don't know, like, passive. <laughs> sound, this thing sound. Oh, dude, there's, there's apparently creep underneath. My poop slick there, that's uh, a little bit deceptive, thanks game. Should've been paying more attention, I guess, but... Still, I'm allowed to be angry. Okay, if you could stop taking really dumb damage, that'd be fantastic. Didn't mean to do that at all. Oh! Okay, we definitely need Psyfly. Give me that Psyfly, baby. Does the rainbow poop do anything for us? It doesn't give anything any money or anything, does it? Right. Extra boss damage on those bombs. Beautiful. I don't see any luck pennies around. Go a light path here. Damn, not a lot of money to use in here, but we'll check it out regardless. Ah, unfortunate, really cool item. Completely useless after this floor. 
keep it going. Sci-Fly isn't going to be a complete savior, but it is definitely going to save me from some dumb damage here and there. It's also going to make Hush potentially plausible, because we haven't done Hush yet. Although I'd, I would want like 99 coins before going into Hush, I'll be honest. I'd want a lot of money before heading in there. Just so I've got like four or five hits. So far, so good. God damn. I don't know, like, on this floor if there's any particular good place to use turnover. Ooh. Very, very good trinket if I could have grabbed it. Sadly, tis not to be. Dude, this, this, is, this is weird. We're getting a lot of these enemies. A lot of those guys right now. Beautiful. Okay. Also got to remember there's some item rooms and stuff we can use turn down in on hush if we want to take the risk of risking some of that potential HP. I guess what we could do is we could do it after the fight and see how much money we had left. Also, with all of these bombs, I think it'd kind of be a breeze. Double damage against bosses. And we got 99 bombs on 97 at the moment. We just lob bombs at him for days and take him the fuck out. And then Sci-Fly will obviously be... Honestly, Hush, if we make it to Hush, Hush is probably going to be kind of a breeze for us, I think. We do have to actually make it there, which is not going great right now because I keep going the wrong way. Unfortunately, very, very big detour this floor. I hate that. The womb is just the worst for wrong ways. Dude, what is going on with these enemies right now? There's just this is all I'm finding. It's just these enemies and nothing else. It's not a dime there, unfortunately. Dude, wrong way again. Double dime though. This is fucking stupid. I'm I'm gonna miss hush because I just every single way I've gone has been the wrong way. It's kind of funny that uh, my dude can trigger a theme as well. My uh, my succubus. Don't need to worry about any money right now because we're at 99. Worry about getting there on time. Skip a room, why not? Don't know what's going on with this room. It's kind of scary. There's people with nails in their head. But don't like dying. Wow, you've got a lot of HP. Okay, finally, right where? Very nearly got hit there, but I think I just about got out of there. Oh, bollocks. This is a boss that is kind of hard to not get hit against. He's basically like a cutscene of a boss. I don't, I don't particularly like him. <laughs> He's a really cool boss. I just don't think he should actually be a boss that can show up on a regular run. There you go, we got it. I'll take it. Right, down we go. More damage is good to, good for me. And then how, how much time we got? We've got enough time, I think. Provided we don't go the complete wrong way all the time. Also, our tears are really small now. Small tears, small tears. What you gonna do? Don't walk on the poop slit because there's creep underneath it. The game is deceptive right now. Found a secret room here. Check it out real quick. Got free money in it. I like that. Might as well try and skip a room with a bomb here.
Dude, that little heart fuck. Get back over here. Oh, it's the wrong heckin' way again, though. God damn it. Come on, game. Don't do this to me every time. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. They am doing good work there. Try not to get hit against these fuckers. Hopefully Psyfly saves the day here. Oh my god, the damage we just did to her. There were so many tears like waiting, ready to hit. There you go. Right, we should be good for Hush here. Devil deal I will check out in case there's something incredible. What the hell's this? Eh, not very good. I am going to take Ouija board. Right, I think we go for this. We don't have any fucking keys, man. At least buy some keys. Get these dolls open. I'll come back to you. Just in the hope that I get a holy poop, but I don't think I'm going to. I got a golden poop. The golden poop's good at least, because that means I've got some HP in the room. I'm going to kill this guy before I just decide to pop it, though. Because this guy's a little bit of a shit in his first form now. He has some actually pretty decent attacks that can kind of go kind of hard. Right, there you go. Now we've got some pennies on the floor. We're going to try and leave as many of those as we can as insurance in case we need them. I doubt we will, but there's a chance. Remember to pop bombs when we get the chance. Question is, how easy is it going to be to get the bombs to hit him? Qu uh, answer, very. I think I need to do pretty much that. Get in as close as I possibly can before I fire the bombs at him. Look at this mass of tears that we've got ready for him. Do you want to, like, move? Yeah, there you go. Okay, yeah, these bombs are doing very good work for us. Can you, can you pop up out the ground, sir? It's very annoying when you stay underground. Um, a theme? Come on. There you go. <laughs> I was going to say, once one a theme procs, you're all dead. That's all I'm waiting on. Dude, get out of the ground. God, I really hope that whenever someone makes a hush rework mod, they just remove all the stupid invulnerable phases where he just decides to fuck off underground. It's such a, in my opinion, it's such a horrible way to design a boss. Because the thing is, the player can be more than well equipped enough to deal with the enemy's attacks, but instead they're just forced to not dodge attacks or de not be able to deal damage and just kind of sit there and it's just boring. Come on, trigger a thing while it's while you're next to him. There you go. That's a good amount of damage. Oh god, these bombs do a fucking load of damage. Holy shit! There we go. That was an easy kill. We got perfection out of it, which will just turn into money, sadly. <laughs> oh no, you can actually pick up perfection. Okay, nice. That's really good for us. Um, okay, come back here. That's really good. We'll take that. Celestial Berry is also pretty good, but I want to go in here first. 
all stats up very, very good, and I think we'll leave with that. Good stuff, okay. Yeah, uh, the, the nail polish is kind of busted, we've seen it before. Um, with anything that, any character that has slow fire rate, it basically makes their fire rate insane. Our fire is actually already really good right now. Also, we have a, a literal 50% chance for a Thame to proc now, so... Or just over 50% chance, I think it's 50% at 10 luck. I think. I might be wrong about that. I feel like I'm not, but which means we're going to be pretty busted. Is that a cross sterny? I'm definitely gonna get hit by this guy. You trapped me in the circle with him? Are you kidding me? This is bullshit. Let me out. 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 This is bullshit. I hate this. 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 What on earth? That's such devilish behavior. You can't do this to me. <laughs> that was awful. That was just completely inexcusable behavior there by the game. We should try and get some keys, to be honest, to open our chests. Although, does opening the chests matter? Do we actually get the items out of the chests? I don't think we do, do we? I think we'll just get money. It might not matter. So in Bond, potentially very good, but unfortunately we can't pick it up and we have perfection anyways. Look at that. Look at the amount of fire rate you get. It's stupid good. Again, making me wait for no reason when I'm perfectly capable of killing the enemy. Don't like that. Oh, god damn. The only thing is, Max is making us lag quite a lot because there's just so many tears on screen. Really? Wrong way. Of course the wrong way. We didn't go through the L-shaped room. If you don't go through a big room, you're not doing that right, are you? Clearly. That wasn't the right way either. Great stuff. Gotta love it. Yeah, having having Spectral here is so nice. Not getting our uh, tears caught on rocks. I like that. I realize I'm missing so much money here, but I feel like I don't need it, so it's fine. Like, just, just, just look at this. The amount of money we're generating just from hitting him. Looney Tunes. Schmack right in the chest. Let's see if do we actually... Okay, we don't actually get the item. Good to know. Okay, not worth doing that in here either, I guess. Don't think there's any good place to use turn down apart from maybe secret rooms at this point. This has just been such a fucking cool run. Like, I think the, the combination of these items as a, as a character would be really cool. Obviously, it'd have to be tuned to not be this powerful, but it'd be really interesting. I think it'd be really fun, because, I mean, this run has been a lot of fun. Oh, God, this is bad. I'm going to cheat this room a little bit. Keep him feared makes this room a lot easier. Without him feared, this room would have been really hard. This game's brutal to me at the moment. So many wrong ways. If I don't get hit here, I'll be surprised. <laughs> Somehow, I didn't. We're just beeline the boss at this point.
The only thing they could make this better is even more shot speed. We already have quite a lot, but even more would make it very good. I'm trying to pick up as much luck as I can in case I lose perfection. Look at that. Oh my god. Eve's nail polish. Such an overpowered item. Like, it's 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 good on regular characters with good fire rate, but on anything with slow fire rate, it just becomes absolutely obscenely good. Especially anything that hits multiple tiers in one go, like this guy on multi-shot. So every hit reduces the hit the time until the next one. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, luckily I killed him pretty quick, because he was second phase already. Not a boss I wanted to see, though. You lot can bugger off and all. Dodge job bullshit. Didn't want to have to deal with it. And you again? Okay. We lost a holy mantle that I apparently had. Don't know where I got that from, but thank you. Okay. Don't know what's going on with that room. Don't care to find out. Oh my god, the Athame. It's so crazy. Imagine this with Lump of Coal. Now that is one thing that this is, the formula that this is missing. <laughs> oh my god. Utter destruction. Utter destruction. Wow, we even got a Void as well, which I feel like we have to try. With this setup, I feel like we have to try it. Unfortunately, recently I've been getting very, very unlucky with uh, Void Flaws and the fact that I've just been um, not being able to find boss rooms and especially the Delirium Room. I've just had a really hard time coming across them, so hopefully we have a bit of a better uh, round of it this time. Yeah, recently it's not been so great. But as long as we can keep a theme going, we're in a good spot here. Let's just uh, quickly go a turn over, buy a key, pop that. I guess, why not? At least we found a boss room quickly here, although very, very hard boss here, so we got to be kind of careful. Yep. Don't even know what hit me there. Did not see it. But sadly, we have lost our insane perfection, but still good regardless. That's a merry one. At least we're going to get a lot of boss items here. Bag of bones. Managed to kill that guy even though he wasn't meant to be killable, but okay. Regardless of how it's meant to work, I do not mind. Okay, luckily both of these guys are taking damage at once because of uh, the thingy item we have. So I gotta say that guy will be extremely weak. The the thing piece, what's it called? Thing? I can't remember. It's the petscop reference item. I love the little noise it makes. It's called the piece or something like that, isn't it? I can't remember now. Unfortunately, 
very few bosses yet again. We found one hiding out on its own, but everyone else is hiding off somewhere. Probably good to keep golden pennies around as like a resource for later. Sadly, slow and annoying boss here. I say slow and annoying, it, it should actually be relatively quick. But. We're on five luck now as well, so even though we lost perfection, the fame's still procking like crazy. Come on, boss rooms. Where you at, bossy bosses? Oh, one of you's a, a lump on the floor. Damn it, morbid heart we can't have. Don't like that. I very much like that morbid heart. These are the rooms where a theme is just insane. These guys are terrible enemies. We want to be as far away as we can. Luckily, again, our thing will have done a good amount of damage for us. There he is, another boss. Golden key. How good. Don't need any of those. Okay. Still on good health. Try and throw shit at me. No thank you. Would not like to have shit thrown at me. Where the boss, where the boss, where the boss at? Seems like a good enough one to grab. Another boss here. This is probably Delirium. Don't know what you do, sir, but don't want to find out anytime soon. Just grabbing extra coins here because it could be Delirium. It's in a good enough position for it to be. It's not. Damn, we're just not getting great, uh, great items at the minute. Yeah. Back we go, back we go. Oh, Tinted Rock, I guess I'll proc that just in case. Gives me some flies, lovely. I want to make sure we get up to that, like, 80... Is it 81 um, or 82 we got to be at to get that extra health? I think it is. There's another enemy in here somewhere. I have literally no idea where. He's up here somewhere. Why are you all the way in that corner, fool? Just kind of rude. Also, the lag. <laughs> the frame rate. Why? Again, there's still another enemy in the room somehow. Good, good. Do we get any other health at 90 or whatever? I don't think we do, do we? Really? Tears, don't you dare push that bomb. Thank you. Wow, that was so worthwhile. 
Okay, no, I think our last health is like 81 82 or something. Let's go for that. Spent a lot of money there and didn't get anything for it, really. It's all right. We got plenty of money in here, apparently. Sixty one, so it must be eighty one for the next one. Okay, I don't really know what item I bought there, but it definitely re rolled that enemy. Do you can you die? Can you fucking die? What's going on here? Why can't you die? Because the little orb you spawned? Yes, it was. Okay, that just re-rolled everything there. Okay, this is going to get real wacky. I don't really know what I signed myself up for here, and uh, a little bit scared because of it. Come on, fucker. Disappear, please. One of my favourite noises in all of Fiendfolia. Right, 80... It's 81, okay. Satan. Satan Derulo. Some of these pennies have managed to stick around, and I'm not quite sure how. Okay, no, they're disappearing now. They just took a bit longer for some reason. Why are you dying? There you go. You're taking a bit longer than I expected there. Careful of the feet here. I think they're about to get insta-killed by this glowing dark blob. Yes, they are. <laughs> Right, where, oh where, could it, this is what I mean by delirium, like, man, I've searched like nearly every single mother flipping room, and still it ends up being one of the last places I go. It, like, could you not? Could you just not? Brawl space, you say? Don't really care about that. Didn't mean to fucking use that. That's what I meant to use. Lost a lot more money than I was hoping for there. Now I'll go do this because I need the money. Out we go. It just seems to use random dice when I kill enemies. Pretty cool. I'm guessing it hasn't used like a D6 or anything yet, so I'm guessing you can only use dice that actually will do something. Which is good if that's the case. Oh god. It can D10 though. Wait, 
Can it defall? Please don't tell me it can defall. Holy shit. <laughs> All the chests still disappeared. Finally! We found that bitch. Luckily he stayed in delirium form here for a good while. Which means we can do just obscene damage to him. Oh my god. Boys? What's happening? Um, he never transformed and that meant we insta-killed him. All in the day's work, I guess. <laughs> okay, nice. He has no boss armor in his base form, so we just annihilated him. That is uh, a tried and true tactic. Just get very, very lucky. Have Iron Jesus on your side. And just kill him instantly. Easy enough. Bad company in the bag. There you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this run. A very, very fun one indeed. I'll see you guys in the next one.